Fraction. The meaning of fractions, reading and writing fractions. Half. One bhakri has to be divided equally between two people. When it is divided into two equal parts, each of the parts is one half of the whole bhakri. When any object is divided into two equal parts, then each of the parts is one half of that object. One half of the whole is shown by the fraction 1 upon 2. Quarters One bhakri has to be divided equally between four people. When it is divided into four equal parts and one part is given to each person, each share is a quarter of the whole bhakri. When any object is divided into four equal parts, each of those parts is a quarter of the whole. One quarter is shown by the fraction as 1 upon 4. Numbers such as 1 upon 2, 1 upon 4 are called fractions. In a fraction, the number written above the line is the numerator and the number written below the line is the denominator. In the fraction 1 upon 2, the numerator is 1 and the denominator is 2. 1 upon 2 is read as 1 half or 1 upon 2. 1 upon 4 is read as 1 fourth or 1 quarter or 1 upon 4. 3 quarters Three children bought a cake and asked their grandfather to divide it equally among the four of them, including himself. Grandfather divided the cake into four equal parts. Each piece is one quarter of the cake. Grandfather gave Raju, Rani and Pinky one quarter each and kept the last quarter for himself. Grandfather gave his two granddaughters quarter plus quarter, that is half of the cake. He gave his three grandchildren quarter plus quarter plus quarter, three quarters of the cake. One half and one quarter also make three quarters of the whole. When an object is divided into four equal parts, three of its parts taken together are three quarters. This is shown by the fraction 3 upon 4. 3 upon 4 is read as 3 fourths or 3 upon 4. Some more fractions. Here a circular disc is divided into five equal parts and three of its parts are colored. The colored part of the disc is shown as 3 upon 5. 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 together make 3 upon 5. That is, 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 is equal to 3 upon 5. When an object is divided into 5 equal parts and 3 of them are taken, that part is shown as 3 upon 5. Here, the denominator 5 shows how many equal parts are made of the whole and the numerator 3 shows how many of those are taken. This strip has been divided into 7 equal parts and 2 parts are colored, which means 2.7 of the strip is colored. Here, the number 7 gives the total number of equal parts made and 2 gives the number of parts taken. In the fraction 2 upon 7, 2 is the numerator and 7 is the denominator. You can work out the meaning of fractions such as 8 upon 11 or 7 upon 13 just like the fractions 3 upon 4, 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 7. Different meanings of fractions. Amita was given two parts out of three equal parts of a bhakri. This means Amita was given two-third of one bhakri. Two bhakris of same size as Amita's have to be divided equally between three girls, Sadna, Anushka and Preeti. This is Sadna's part, that is Preeti's part 
and this is Anushka's part. The two bhakris were divided into three equal parts each. One part of each bhakri was given to Sadhna, Anushka and Preeti. Sadhna's share 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Anushka's share 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Preeti's share 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Well, that means each girl was given a one-third part twice. That is, each got 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. However, Amata's share and that of each of these three girls is the same. Hence, we can see that 2 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Note that when two bhakris are divided between three girls, each gets two third bhakris. You know what it means? It means that two third can be explained in three different ways. Two parts out of three equal parts of an object, one third twice, which means one upon three plus one upon three, which also means two into one upon three, or 2 times 1 upon 3. Equal division of two objects between three people.